Hello guys and welcome once more. Guys, today we're going to be taking a quick look at the LH-55 Professional Ball Head from Leo Photo. Let's see everything that comes in this package. When you open the package, the first thing that you see is a really nice case where they send you the ball head. The quality of the case is really good. After you open the case and you take the LH-55 out of the case, what you're starting to see is the amazing quality of this amazing ball head. On the right hand side, what you're going to be able to see is the main knob. This knob allows you for you to free the main ball so you can position the top plate. After that, on the top, you're going to find a quick release knob. This knob allows you for you to free the top plate where you position your camera. Right next to it, we find a quick release system. This is an Arca Swiss compatible system. On the left of the head, you see here two buttons. One is the one that allows you for you to lock or unlock the panning of the head. And the smaller one on the top is the one that manages the drag of the head. In the middle, you find the whole body of this amazing ball head. This head is built out of CNC machine aluminum. It has a hard anodized coating so you can use it in any environment without the fear that it's going to get damaged. The build quality is amazing. The bottom is 68 mm, the base diameter. This head is fairly heavy. It is about 900 grams, but it holds up to 25 kilos of payload. Imagine 25 kilograms of equipment on a ball head that is not that big or that heavy. Now in this view, what you see here is the top plate. It is a Arca Swiss compatible plate. You will find all of the markings on the top of the plate. Also, you get a bubble level in there. If you lose the main knob just a quarter turn, you're going to be able to move freely about 20 millimeters front and back so you can position your camera depending on the weight of your equipment. Okay, now this is the big knob. It's the one that loses the complete ball of the head. You can lose it and you can modify the drag proportion using this little knob on the top. Here we show you the quick release plate. The plate in the bottom, of course, it has the screw and it has two little screws which are the safety mechanism. Looking at the head from the top, we can see the massive ball. This is a 55 millimeter of amazing aluminum work. It's very smooth. The operation is seamless. In any case or any occasion, I have found this dragging me because it is not smooth enough. This ball is just amazing. I took it the other day to do a furniture shooting at the Yucatan Country Club. And in all cases, this ball performs beautifully. As you see, this is a very hefty head. It is beautiful build. It's amazing. Using this head on location is just a piece of case. It holds a lot and allows you to do your job with no problem. To me at that shooting, it was really helpful, the bubble head because I was shooting in different places with the tripod being in different locations, I was able to position my camera in the right position and level with the horizon. Here in the back, we can see that we can adjust the drag control knob and it's gonna show you the numbers, which allows me to use it in different occasions and know which number I need to use depending on my equipment. On this side, you can see the knob that allows you for you to lock the head for the panning. This is really helpful because sometimes you just want to move vertically, but you don't want to pan the head. Here you see the head with the Canon 7D on it and also the Tamron 24 2.8. -2 As you see here, I'm taking pictures and looking at my work and nothing is moving. The quality of this ball head is just amazing. 
I am surprised that this bald head is not really famous in the market. It competes with brands and products that cost even five times more. Guys, thank you so much because you have watched this video. If you need more information, please contact the people at Leo Foro or shoot me an email or a private message here. But I can assure you that this bald head is the top bald head on the market right now. See you later. Until next time, my name is Frank.